major group becomes eligible for COVID vaccinations tomorrow in South Carolina. That's anyone 16 years or older. Meanwhile, in North Carolina, the rest of group four becomes eligible tomorrow. That includes other essential workers and college students. Then on April 7th, everyone who wants a vaccine in North Carolina can sign up for one. Today, the Mecklenburg County Health Department opened appointments that anyone could sign up for. But once again, many people couldn't sign up because the county's website crashed. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live at Bojangles Coliseum. Chloe, we've talked about the country's website crashing several times before already. Yeah, the chief medical officer of StarMed, the healthcare system helping to administer those shots here, told me that the website can only handle 10 people per second. Obviously, a lot more than that trying to book an appointment today. The floodgates are opening in North Carolina. Next Wednesday, anyone 16 or older will be eligible to get the COVID vaccine. We spoke with the website uh, that was hosting our uh, appointments and they were prepared for it, they just weren't this prepared for it. When the Mecklenburg County Health Department and StarMed opened up 3,500 appointments this morning, it was like trying to run a river through a fire hose. The website crashed. It's exciting that so many people are wanting to get vaccinated. Um, it just overwhelmed the system a little bit. Once the supply grows, it shouldn't be as difficult, but for now, getting an appointment takes some luck and sometimes flexibility. It was frustrating just because, you know, everybody else seems to be vaccinated and when am I gonna get mine? Scott Shakeshaft hopped in his car when he heard there were leftover doses at Bojangles Coliseum. He made it from Huntersville just in time to get the second to last shot. To know that you can go into a setting and, you know, have a sense of comfort that you're protected. And that's what it's all about. So many people are shopping around for appointments. It's leading to a growing no show rate. But StarMed has a no waste policy, always finding ways to get the shot in an arm. So at the end of the day, if you open the vial and a patient doesn't show up or you have too many doses left over, we scramble to make sure anybody gets it. So anyone can book an appointment for April 7th or later. They are encouraging people to continue to check back. If people cancel, more appointments will pop up. And starting next Wednesday, they will post those appointments every Wednesday for the following week. Live at Bojangles Coliseum, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Chloe, thank you.